Life Simmer, and I'm here to let you know that I am dumber than a rock. Yes, prior to me filming this voiceover, this is the second time I'm doing it, the first time I thought there was a demon haunting me. Oh my goodness. I heard like a really deep, scary voice, and you know what it was? Are you ready for this? It was the freaking video that I'm doing the voiceover for right now. I was like, running around my room shutting doors grabbing sage you name it because i was so scared turns out it was actually the video that i am doing the voiceover for right now so i'm dumb is what i'm trying to get at here and um i hate myself so yeah but let's try that intro all over again shall we hey guys it's me life simmer and welcome to a create a sim and a create a pet Today, somehow, someway, this is a nine minute video of me creating Kylie Jenner and little Norman, little baby Norman. I don't even know how this video is 10 minutes. Like, what was I doing? Anyways, I don't know. How, how am I going to make a voiceover? So now I'm putting on Kylie's formal wear and here I am changing her formal wear for the seventh time. Like, what am I even gonna say? I don't know. I'll probably tell you guys a story or something. But yep, today I'm creating Kylie, and I know for the most part, when people create, um, like, sims based off of celebrities, usually people hate them. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's not the best, but hey, I tried. I didn't really go out of my way to download any special CC for her, anything like that. I kind of just used what I already had, so, yeah, I, I mean, I think it turned out okay. I think it kind of looks like Kylie. Looks like Kylie enough. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It looks like Kylie enough. And little Norman, oh, my baby Norman. Oh my goodness. I'm like not even that big of a fan of like the Kardashian and Jenners, but pff, ooh, Norman baby, he has my heart. He really, he really does. I don't know. I think Italian greyhounds are super cute, which by the way, people bully italian greyhounds and i'm not here for it people also bully english bulldogs and i'm also not here for it yeah so maybe they're like not the ideal body type to most of you but i i'm not here for you you know bullying these little pups i do not like it they're beautiful in their own way okay yeah i think he's super cute and i think italian greyhounds are so cute which is ironic because i love english bulldogs as we know and English Bulldogs are super fat, and that's what I love about them. And then little Italian Greyhounds, I like them because they're so twiggy. I don't know. I think I might get an Italian Greyhound because I really want, like, another animal. And I've been looking for, like, a rescued Bulldog. But then I also want a cat. But now I also want, like, an Italian Greyhound. So it's just a very difficult situation. I just want all the animals is pretty much what I'm trying to get at here. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I follow, like, rescued pages for animals. So I'm going to follow an, a rescued Italian Greyhound page. And maybe eventually a little, a little baby will pop up that I'll adopt. I think that would be a lot of fun. But my thing, I worry about, like, getting another animal because my English Bulldog, Gabby, she is like so she's such a baby she's literally like a little human baby so i feel like she might get jealous so i don't know i don't know like when gronk passed away i was like oh my gosh i feel so bad for her so i got her like a pet fish and i went out and bought like a huge aquarium and everything that it needed and all that so that's just the type of dog mom i am i got my dog a pet fish because her friend died and i love my fish so much she's so evil she's so evil by the way my fish is literally like a demon. <laughs> like speaking of demons, my fish is one. Her name is Olga, in case you're wondering. She's an Oscar, so she's very aggressive. She's so mean. Literally, if you put your finger in her tank, she'll like try to bite your finger. She's like, the best way I can put her is she's like a fucking asshole. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, excuse the language, but she she's so mean. And like, if you go past her tank or something, she'll try to jump out of it. Ugh. Gosh, she's so gross, but I do love her. Okay, so let me shut up. Let me stop talking about how I got my, my dog a fish, okay? Because that's, you guys care so much about that. Let's get back to Kylie. <laughs> so right now I'm working on her formal wear, which I did actually want to touch on. You guys are probably looking at it and thinking, why is she wearing that? What, what kind of contraption is that? And I thought to myself, listen, this is the one time, the one time I'll probably be able to put a sim in something so dramatic and get away with it. It's a Balmain original. 
Is that even how you pronounce that? Whatever. The the brand that Kylie's always wearing. So, yeah. It's it's a fancy one, okay? But uh, I actually am curious. I was going to make this creative sim a pregnant Kylie Jenner, but I was like, let me like maybe not do that just because she hasn't confirmed it yet. So I could probably look really dumb. Maybe I'll make it, but who knows? After she confirms it, we'll make, we'll make a pregnant Kylie Jenner and we'll do, you know, get the looks and everything. Why not? Why not? Um, but do you guys think she's pregnant? I'm like not the biggest Kardashian fan. Like I, I don't stay up every single Sunday to watch the Kardashians, but from time to time, like I'll watch it. Um, but somehow some, I say I'm not like the biggest Kardashian fan, but somehow I know everything that's going on in their lives. Like I will check Kylie update pages to be like, is there new paparazzi pictures of the baby bump? Ugh, I just need to know. It's like, I am someone where if somebody's like, I'm going to tell you something, but I'm going to tell you later. It's like, tell me now, tell me now. That's how I am. I just need to know now. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm impatient. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I think she's pregnant, honestly. But who knows? Maybe it's all a publicity stunt. Maybe. But, um, yep, here's my Kylie Jenner. I know you guys are probably shaking your head because she looks bad, but I tried. I tried. I didn't go out of my way to get, like, special CC for her. I just used what I had. So, yeah. Alright guys, so here we are in Creative Pet with little baby Norman. So, I've been loving Creative Pet so far. I love the fact that we have a variety of different animals and you have an endless array of creative possibilities with the paintbrush tool. However, I have a bone to pick and I've had a bone to pick since The Sims 2 Pets. I feel like they make small breed animals or medium breed animals too small, if that makes any sense whatsoever. There's a small and a large breed bracket in the game for the animals, and I feel like there needs to be a medium one. For example, in my Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Let's Play, I have an English Bulldog, and he is way too small. He is way too small. My Sim can pick him up with one hand. Where is that possible? I can barely pick my English Bulldog up in real life with two hands, let alone one. So I just feel like the animals are either too small or too big in this game, and that kind of it makes me a little a little upset for example norman if you enter live mode with him he'll be the size of a chihuahua he shouldn't be the size of a chihuahua you know what i mean so i think i need to download some sliders and start working with them a little bit to make my own variations of the animals so they're a little bit more accurate to size um even with like the great danes which are a huge animal they're still like not as accurate as i would have hoped um so I might have to download sliders. Other than that, everything's great. The only piece of custom content that I've downloaded for my animals so far um, is custom content contacts. So their eyes are a little bit more shiny and glowy and all of that. That's the only piece of custom content that I have downloaded for them. Although I think I'm going to have to download sliders. So the sizing is a little bit more accurate. But other than that, that is my creative sim and create a pet of Kylie Jenner and Norman. If you guys want to download them, my gallery name is linked down below. And uh, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.